Hi, good morning, everyone. So today we will take this question, question ID 87827045248, right? And better the question is saying, if the group of countries allow uh, abolish trade barriers between themselves and set common tariff for other countries, this is known as, and some of you have marked the answer as common market and some of you have marked the answer as custom union. I just want to highlight that both the answers are correct. But a common market is basically a subset of custom union. It's a subset of custom union, which means that common market ko sari property satisfy karta hai, jo custom union satisfy karta hai, but it also allows for free movement of labor and capital. It also allows for free movement of labor and capital. So countries that abolish trade barrier between themselves and set common tariff is can be common market and it also has these additional property. So you cannot negate this answer. Huh? Ab dekho zar se. So uh, if I just talk about the features of common market, it has all the features of custom union. Custom union ke sare features common market mein hote hi hote hain. Plus, they also allow for free movement of labor and capital among the nations. Wo apne jo bhi us common market ke andar hoonge, unke beech mein free movement of labor and capital also, they allow that. Better to, to kind of prove this thing, I will go back to the famous book that we use for international economics, which is known as Salvator. And you can go and take a look at this book, page number 301. And on that page, um, in chapter 10 of Salvator, they have given the definitions. Okay. And these are the definitions which are given to you. So it says the custom union allows tariff, uh, no tariff or barriers on the trade among member. And in addition, it harmonizes the trade policies towards the rest of the world. Matlab, Apne aap mein jitne custom union ke andar hoonge, there will be no tra trade barrier between them. Aur bahar ke logo ke liye ek common, common tariff will be there. So actually that is exactly what the question is asking. If you notice, yehi wo question pooch rahe. It abolishes trade barrier between themselves and set common tariff. So custom union is definitely the correct answer. But if you just read the definition of common market, it says it goes beyond custom union by also allowing. Matlab, wo ye to kar hi rahi hai. It is doing this, but it is also allowing the free movement of labor and capital among the nations. So this is in addition to what the custom union is doing. Jo bhi custom union kar raha hai, common market is basically whatever custom union does, right? Plus, it is also going ahead and doing free movement of labor and capital. It is also allowing free movement of labor and capital. Right, beta? So that is it. That's the answer. So you always, you know, since uh, yesterday you had this confusion, many of you have marked the answer as common market. You can go ahead and challenge this question. Common market can also be the right answer. Okay, beta. Thank you.